Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumaya. So in this tutorial, we'll see what is the shell scripting. So um, we'll see what is shell scripting, and as well as we'll see why we use it. And in upcoming tutorials, we'll write a few uh, regularly used uh, shell scripting programs, and also we'll see how we can run or execute it. So here, first of all, there are a few points that need to be noted down uh, before starting up with shell scripting. The first one is um, why we use shell scripting. First of all, we use uh, shell scripting in order to uh, for automation of uh, common tasks. Okay, this is the first point. That is, see, we all know that how to execute a single command on our Unix operating system. Now, in case we want to run uh, two or more commands at the time, uh, you won't be able to do it, right? So for that you will be using the shell scripting you can uh, execute more that is a uh, set of commands set of commands uh, at once using the shell scripting that is it is also used to automate automation of the common task that is most of our uh, most users of unix uh, shell have the task that they wish to perform on regular basis so at the time the shell script can cut down the time required to perform such tasks okay and um, secondly, the shell scripting is used for Unix system administration. Administration. That is uh, most of our administration. Uh, I'm not going deep into this administration part. So most of the administ Unix administrators will be using the shell script in order to, you know, uh, you know, system is done. I mean, sorry, most much of the administration uh, Unix system is done via these uh, using these shell scripts. That's what I meant. So these are the uh, you know, few uses of uh, shell scripting. So um, now coming to the you know uh, how exactly the we all know that whenever we write a um, C program or Java program, always the extension will be like dot C or dot Java, some ja text dot Java like that. So in the same way, whenever we are writing a shell scripting, um, the extension is going to be dot sh. So our shell program is going to have the name for example like text test dot um, sh so this is our shell scripting program okay so inside this file we'll be having a few set of uh, commands or some instruction that needs to be you know uh, done so this is what is the extension of our shell, shell scripting so next uh, next point is uh, where we uh, we all know that um, what exactly compilation or interpretation means so here um, the shell scripts are mainly interpreted sorry interpreted and not compiled so few of us doesn't know like what exactly this compilation or interpretation means so just uh, I'll uh, give few points what is this compilation or interpretation means so first of all compilation is where um, um like our c programs are usually compiled we all know that right so in in this compilation what exactly happens is uh, the program that is human understandable program we know how the c program will look like right we'll be having that um, print uh, for whatever the those things uh, the human can understand those words right so those things would be converted to a, a machine level language like uh, machine understandable language like uh, binary digits uh, the zeros and ones so which we can't understand so that is what compilation exactly means that the conversion of human readable format uh, to a machine understandable format okay so here this um, this is what is compilation means and uh, also we know that uh, but here coming to the interpretation interpretation means this um, you know uh, high level language is mainly converted to a uh, middle le level language that is what interpretation means okay so here while we compile um, an object file will get generated so most of us whoever whoever has worked on c language and all we all know that whenever for example test.c is being compiled we know that test.obj file gets generated right so in the same way uh, here in whenever uh, the file is interpreted no such uh, object oriented files get generated okay that's the another difference between compilation and interpretation so uh, uh, coming to the third uh, difference is whenever you compile a file um, all all the files whenever the compilation happens all the instruction all the all the pro uh, the entire program will get compiled that is the entire program will get checked and then only the list of errors will be shown to you 
okay whereas interpretation in interpretation what happened each and every line is checked if for example if the third line is having some error then the other lines are left out and the error is given out the er error is given out that's what so uh, it's not like compilation where the entire program is checked and then the errors are displayed to you it's not like that whereas interpretation will uh, check each and every line of it and if there is error in between then the entire program is, is going to get stopped and the error is going to be displayed to you so that's what is the difference between the interpretation and compilation which i know so here as i said the shell scripting is mainly interpreted and not compiled so whenever we are writing some shell script and we are running it uh, the it interprets that is each and every line is being checked if there are any errors automatically the unix or is going to give us an error okay so this is what is about shell scripting and also um, there are few things that we need to know before you know start writing programs in shell scripting that is first of all we need to know the unix um, editor so the unix editor which i know is uh, vi editor it's the most commonly used editor so uh, you you people need to you know before knowing the shell scripting you need to know how to write programs in vi editor so this is the one thing that we need to know and also uh, we can uh, write we can write um, various statements um, statements and using loops and conditions and all so we'll also see i'll teach you like how to you know write uh, wh what are these loops and conditions like you know while if else uh, the people who are already a programmers in c java and all they'll be knowing all these things but uh, just um, for uh, who are new to this shell scripting or new to this programming itself will not be knowing what is loops and conditions and all. so in the next upcoming tutorials i'll um, teach you what are loops and conditions and all how we can make use of these things in shells and write programs so this word is about shell scripting hope uh, i have given a brief um, idea or uh, we have uh, briefly discussed how the shell scripting works and why we use it so if there are any queries then please do mail me to plsql.informatica.gmail.com and uh, thank you very much for watching.